on the move from the road through the recall process. No, about 500 people are killed and 19,000 are hurt or injured in tire related accidents each year. And it's a wonder why they didn't come up with this mandatory restrictions before. Before earlier. Yeah. yeah, I love this next story. So IKEA has tapped into kids' imaginations for a new line of stuffed animals. The company picked 10 kids' drawings and then turned them into real stuffed animals. The drawings are so good and so creative. And on top of that, IKEA is now going to donate a dollar for every toy sold to education projects. As long as you don't have to put those animals together, like <laughs> for IKEA furniture, that'll be okay. Americans could be losing their sweet tooth. Hershey's lowered its sales projections for the year because we are buying less candy and gum than expected. Now, the company also paying more for ingredients like milk and, of course, cocoa. I love candy so much. <laughs> of course, you know, sales are going to get kind of a boost this week since Halloween is on Saturday. And there is now a high-tech way to figure out which houses are the ones to visit for trick-or-treating. Target created this app called Treatster, so users can mark the best houses when it comes to decorations and, of course, maybe more importantly, the best candy. Isn't there. it amazing you can go back in your childhood mind and remember which house gave the best candy, even to this day you can do that. Yeah, let me just say, the full-size candy bars. Full-size. Awesome. In the house that gave the bruised apples, <laughs> no. Well, lots of children are looking for a forever home next. I'm going to introduce you to one of them. This week's Wednesday's child. You won't want to miss it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. 
trip to the pumpkin patch with Jolie, our Wednesday's child. And you know, Dean Barron, our photographer, does such a wonderful job on our Wednesday's child stories. He loves going out on those uh, shoots we go up with kids. For more information on our Wednesday's children, there you go. There's the phone number to call. And I always put those stories on our website because that simple thing she said, Jennifer, I just want a loving and caring mom and dad. That's it. Isn't that what everybody wants? That's what all those kids want. Breaks your heart. Thanks for sharing their stories. Oh, right. absolutely. It's 5.39. Here are the five things to know tonight. The two men who died in a tank explosion near Bend were from Oregon City. They were firing rounds from a World War II tank and filming it when it exploded. One victim, 51-year-old Stephen Preston, is known nationwide, actually, for his restored military vehicle collection. It was a big day on Capitol Hill. Congress poised to pass a budget deal and the GOP looking forward to a new leader because Paul Ryan was just officially nominated lead the House today. The Wisconsin representative says he's optimistic about a new era in Congress. Remember, at first he said he didn't want the job. Mm -hmm. A new report now on hospital safety is out in Oregon and Washington, our 28th and 33rd on the national list. It looks at everything from quality of health care to just how well patients are recovering after operations. You can see how every local hospital is rated in a link that's on coin.com. A runaway military blip now back on the ground. The lighter than air surveillance craft broke away from its moorings in Maryland this afternoon, drifted away. So far, no word exactly how it broke free or how they got it back. <laughs> that kind of went viral today, a lot of people following it. Now, more fallout from this video of a South Carolina deputy dragging a teenage student from a classroom after she refused to leave and put away her cell phone. The sheriff has now fired the deputy, and we found out there is other video out there that shows the student hitting the officer, but the sheriff has said that did not justify the deputy's actions there. And remember, yesterday the sheriff was kind of defending that deputy, and today, though, he changed course. That video got a lot of attention, and today we're looking into local school policy. Right, our Brent Weisberg is digging deeper to learn what the role of a school resource officer in our area really is and how they would handle a disruptive student. We want to maintain security of our schools. Our school resource officers have the same goal. We're there to set a positive uh, example for law enforcement to students. Today, I talked with Sergeant Kevin McDonald. He's in charge of the school resource officers for the Beaverton Police Department. He tells me that the agency has six officers assigned to the unit serving about 40,000 students. McDonald says that school resource officers are just that, resources to the school. They are not there to enforce school district rules, rather to enforce state laws. It's a mixture of both law enforcement presence, but we also try to engage our youth and uh, teach them uh, how to stay safe in the community. The Hillsborough Police Department today said in an email, quote, if the situation warrants it, the officer will use force reasonable to protect others or the officers and at the lowest level needed. In a separate email, Portland Police spokesperson Sergeant Pete Simpson says, quote, our policies are the same in or out of school, end quote, when it comes to student handcuffing and the use of force. Portland Public Schools tell me that police are only called in as a last resort and in the most serious situations. As Sergeant McDonald says in Beaverton, the goal ultimately is to keep kids out of jail. We are there to enforce laws as they happen, but we are certainly looking for alternatives to steer them out of the juvenile justice system. Reporting in Beaverton, I'm Brent Weisberg, Point Six News. Right now we have an update to some breaking news we brought you just minutes ago, a shooting at a mall in Indianapolis, Indiana, where we've learned three people were shot, but police say this was not a random shooting. The suspect was in an argument with someone just beforehand. That suspect's still on the run. The victim's injuries are not serious, so we're working to get more information on this and we'll update you as that information comes into our newsroom. Now, a warning about car seats, not the kind you put your children in, but the ones that you sit on. Well, this is a really big deal. Experts say in certain crashes, some of these car seats can break and even collapse. Drivers can also be hurt or killed when their heads then crash into the back seat. It gets worse. Crash tests like this one show that seat collapsing. The driver then launched backwards and slammed into the person behind them face. One family was in a real accident just like this. The father's seat back broke, collapsing on impact, and it struck their baby in the face and killed her. And it was all because of some stupid car that we thought was the safest thing we could, you know, get for our family to protect them. We 
found out car makers have known about these problems for decades. Recently, almost every major American and Japanese automaker has seen similar cases like this. The city of Cam is permanently banning recreational pot sales. The city council just approved this ban this week. Now, retail pot sales have never been allowed in Camas, and the city even approved a moratorium on retail sales last October. Growing and processing marijuana businesses also banned in the city. Vancouver, Battleground are the only uh, Clark County cities to allow recreational pot stores. We're seeing some new shakeups in the presidential race. We take you to a local debate watch party, what local voters want to hear from the candidates. Plus, those Blazers, they're back. We're live at the Moda Center or preview of the season home opener. Well, more showers getting re ready to push into the metro area, and they're getting a little heavier, too. In fact, earlier today, reports of a funnel cloud down south. I have your full weather details coming up in just a minute. It's the new PDX weather app, and it tells you everything you need to know about your weather. Saturday, nearing 90. Download today for free. Powered by Long Day. Russian Subaru is a big Subaru store. New 2016 Subaru Outback 2.5i Premium CBT includes eyesight driver assist system and two mounted with Fusion Season Passes. Only $28,339. Russian Subaru is the big Subaru store. On East Powell and Gresham. Now at Roundtable, it's football season. The perfect time to enjoy our new hearty meat supreme pizza. With no we make fresh daily. A thick tomato sauce loaded with ground meat. Our famous three cheeses, our mini pepperoni and new juicy sausage chunks. Top with shredded parmesan and Romano cheese and fresh basil. A party needs a free, now just $17.99 for a large. Order it online, have it delivered to watch the games on your big screen, or bring your team over to tailgate at our place. A party needs a free pizza, only at Roundtable, the last honest pizza. <laughs> Have an insurance problem, the Oregon Insurance Division can help you navigate next steps. They got all the insurance companies talking, and they got me back on the road. Click or call for the free help you need. <laughs> the Dodge brothers have always believed that by taking things further and pushing the limits, you can create a brand that grows as fast as it drives. One drive and you'll discover why Dodge is America's fastest growing performance brand. Right now, get $3,000 cash allowance on the 2015 Dodge Dart GT. Offer ends soon. Thursday Night Rush, presented by Xfinity. Here's a look at the Thursday night game for week 8 of the NFL. 